Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Jim Dar's Tone Shifter Channel, where we show you how to take any guitar and make it sound and play better. So join me in the Guitar Cabin, our musical sanctuary from day-to-day -day life, as we explore another really cool guitar project. I'm excited. Let's get to it. Well, welcome to the Guitar Cabin. This day, we're going to take a look at a Hard to find Firefly FF338. We're going to uncover and talk about the myth, the hype, the pricing, the quality. And let's not forget, really, the most important aspect is the scarcity of this product. Where there's a high demand and low supply, prices and attention tend to go to that particular product, and this is an example of that. This is going to be a two-part video where we're going to overview the guitar in the first part and actually get down to uh, the nitty-gritty in the second part. And I got to tell you right off the bat, this is a quality guitar. It has a nice fit and finish, a decent selection of woods from what I could see. The design, well, it's a standard from the late 50s that Gibson came up with. This guitar, I made a couple of changes to already. Strictly cosmetic, I don't consider those mods. It came with black speed knobs, I didn't like those. It also came with a huge black poker chip. Here's what the poker chip looked like. Swap the black speed knobs for these um, golden uh, bell knobs. And then there's no poker chip here, which I think gives it a nicer, much nicer appearance. So, so these guitars are all the rage. They're very limited in supply. Uh, this guitar was not a new guitar. I found this used. It was originally purchased in 2019 uh, and is in mint condition like it was brand new. There's a lot of hype out there around these guitars. They're in high demand. The supply is low. When production runs come in from Asia, they tend to sell out uh, virtually overnight. The Firefly brand right now is offering uh, Les Paul style, LP style guitars, SG style guitars, as well as the, uh, the FF338, which is the 335 copy. Less than 200 bucks. That's probably what it would cost you to get a nice set of tuners and a nice uh, tunematic style bridge and a stop tail. I don't know how they can produce a guitar at this price point with this quality that I see. The neck feels great. It's straight. The frets, even though this was a, a second hand one, the the owner the first buyer of it told me he did a little fret work he did some uh, leveling and i can see evidence of that here so we'll take care of that there's no fret sprout since it's a bound neck but i do feel where the angle cut was made on here i do feel that there's some edges that could be rounded off a little better and i'll we'll do that and i'll show you how to do that um hardware on this guitar it's cheap. Pickups are cheap. <clears throat> Tuners, not the best in the world. So you're often left with a dilemma. If those people that like projects, that like deals, that may have some extra parts kicking around, it's probably a very good deal. If you're looking for something and you're going to buy this, let's say for $200 delivered, and you've got to put $500 of good quality parts into it, are you better off doing that? Or are you better off passing? Or leaving it just the way it is? It's a personal situation for each one of you to make. Um, I, what's good for me is not necessarily good for you, but I can tell you what I am going to do to this guitar is a lot of people immediately replace the tuners, the bridge, the wiring, and the pickups. So you're, you're going to be spending more on parts than you did on the guitar. 
And unless you can do it yourself, you're spending a lot of money for a qualified luthier to do it. So I'm not going to be replacing the tuners. <clears throat> I'm not going to be replacing the hardware. For right now, the electronics work good. So we'll hear what that sounds like in a minute. The pickups, well, the pickups are okay, but we're going to make them better. So my immediate thought was to, I'm just going to replace them with my pickups. And then I thought, no, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewind these coils and rebuild these pickups from the ground up using as many of the original components as uh, I see fit to, because of quality reasons, can rewinding them, changing the wire type, the number of turns, uh, and the, the, the winding profile with turns per layer to a formula that I know works pretty well. I'm going to show you how to make these stock pickups sound fantastic only by rewinding the pickups and, and perhaps maybe changing the magnets out depending upon what type of magnets are in here. So this guitar the quality of the paint finish is flawless except one little itty bitty spot right here where you can see the it's probably a, a birch laminate in back or a maple laminate in back I'm not sure right through here other than that it is a mirror finish <clears throat> everything seems to fit really well so let's take a listen to this and we'll see what the pickups sound like pickup rather actually seems a little bit louder than the bridge pickup yeah so there's an imbalance there and in looking at the if I'm fretting at the end of the frets they seem to be set pretty even so I'm not sure why there's that imbalance we'll take a look at it Thank 
feels pretty good on this. Uh, the neck is got a little bit of relief in it, which is what you want. Maybe a little too much. We'll address that later. So there you go. Firefly FF338. This guitar was built in uh, 2019. Uh, it is used, but it, it, it really doesn't look like it's been used at all, except some light picks, pick guard strat scratches here. Let's take it apart and see what it looks like. So in part two, we'll round over the fret ends. We'll straighten and slightly adjust the neck. We'll rewind the pickup. And we're going to discover four shockers when we rewind the pickup. So those will be revealed during the next video. And then finally at the end, we're going to give a final assessment of the guitar and our recommendations uh, and general thoughts about it. So until next time, take care. Learn something new every day. Be kind. Be sure to ring the bell and subscribe and comment. And remember, we make pickups.